senior. He has started every single game for the Tigers except for one, and that was senior day on his during his freshman year. So this is uh, uncharted waters for them. Also, uh, 87 points is the most points scored in a 4A game and 69 to start the uh, fourth quarter for North Central. Uh, they might be able to get there. Warsaw with the basketball. Linky, a three-pointer on the right side, and he hit it. Well, we talked about with Nick Moore fouling out with 41 seconds left in the third and 28 points. Where would the offense come from? However, is the task too much as Latham puts it up? A big adjustment. The lead 19, 71-52. Warsaw breaks the press. Gross one-on-one -on -one with McFall at the other end. Puts it up, puts it in. So without more in there, a little more uh, balance to the offense, but still putting points on the board. At the other end, though, Lathan wide open. The assist to Ronnie Johnson, and the team's trading baskets right now. And Warsaw, while finding some offense, needs to get a stop. Right, and North Central's called off their press. Linking, Conrad. Andy Conrad working out front against Trip McFall. Kuhn. Right side, Gross goes baseline against Tyrone Johnson, puts it up in traffic and drew the foul. And Warsaw looking for a second state championship. It's called off the press right now. I, can the Panthers play at that slow I'm pace? I'm not sure. And with Nick Moore out of the game, you might think the pressure might be more effective, but right now I think he's willing to play some longer possessions. Weaving the basketball in front, the Panthers. But there's Ronnie Johnson taking a three and hitting it. Looked like the possession was going to be a little longer, and then Johnson knocks down the three to make it 76-56. Panthers on top by 20. Kuhn right side. Gives to Conrad. Picks up the dribble. Swing it out front to Linky. Zach Linky drives left side of the lane, spins it to the high post. Off to Kuhn, and Kuhn... Hits the jump shot on the left side. So Warsaw all of a sudden has found some offense, but has yet to be able to stop the North Central Panthers. Down low, shot up, shot good for Latham. And the now has 14, and he's perfect for the line, four for four. Six minutes left to play in this contest, 79-58. Conrad out front for the Warsaw Tigers. Right side, Gross. And now Jordan Kuhn. Kuhn left-hand dribble. Ronnie Johnson all over him. And a five-second call, and that's going to be yet another turnover for Warsaw. They're setting up the offense, and you got people just aren't comfortable doing that right now. Devontae Smith-Rivera has 16 points in this game, and all of them came in the first half. He's down low on the baseline and got his shot rejected by Andy Conrad. However, it comes out to Tyrone Johnson, who knocks down the three. Anything they throw up there, Charlie, seems to go in at this point. Yeah, right now, they're just... Andy Conrad looking for his first basket, and he hits a 15-foot jump shot on the left side for the Warsaw Tigers to make it 82-60. The game's actually got kind of a rhythm right now. Both that, teams. That, that rhythm doesn't include a lot of defense. Though. No, I think it's <laughs> your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn. <laughs> yeah, the rhythm includes we're gonna we're gonna put up some points here. 142 between the two teams. Down low, Trip McFall, nice pass from Smith Rivera out front, and Trip McFall puts it up and in. The Indiana High School basketball tournament. This 4A game right now is the 44th state championship ball game played inside Conseco Fieldhouse. That breaks a record. They played 41 games at the old Hinkle Butler Fieldhouse. Tom Crean, the IU coach, kicked it back into play. His left-handed free throw is up. It is good, and that is his 18th point of the ball game. 84-63. Johnson's first free throw. Rivera has 16. Second shot is good for Johnson. 15 points for him. And North Central has 86, Warsaw with 63. High post right side, turnaround jump shot is up, and it is good for Justin Clemens. Clemens now in double figures with 11. Ronnie Johnson goes coast to coast and lays it up, a scoop shot with the left hand, and it is good. It just seems in the second half, Charlie, like the basket got bigger. Well, like you said, too, it's, it gets bigger when you're shooting layups with nobody on you. <laughs> Yeah, if you like defense, this is probably not one you want to uh, want to record. 
Shot missed, and the Panthers clear the rebound. Left side, Tyrone Johnson goes baseline. His pass inside taken away by Conrad. Andy Conrad, left side. Kuhn, Kuhn three-point shot is good. And it's 88-68. Tyrone Johnson at the other end, goes all the way to the basket. He puts it in. I don't even know how he keeps score of this one. 90 to 68. Trip McFall with the steal. And here comes Ronnie Johnson. Free throw line, down low to Latham. Latham puts it up. Well, we'll break that record the next 60 seconds, <laughs> the way we're going right now. Three minutes left in this one. Right side, Gross. Lucas with the crossover dribble, has it knocked away, but is able to retain possession. Swing it left side, Kuhn fakes it in the corner, throws it down low to Gross. Gross puts it up and just a little bit too hard. I think he thought he was gonna get contact and there was nobody there. Pro Central heads the other way. Panthers with the basketball now gonna pull it out. With 90 points, the Panthers have already scored the most points in a Class 4A championship game. Previously, that was 87. East Chicago Central did it against the North Central Panthers in 2007. Left side, Trip McFall puts it up and in. 92-68. Winky. Drives inside, puts it up in traffic, and drew the foul. For more information, make it 92-69. Smith Rivera leaves the ball game with 16 points. He scored all of those in the first half. Panthers have got it. Into the backcourt. Normally during the season, only shot. So all of the starters, with the exception of Tyrone Johnson, are out of there for the Panthers. My guess is the next dead ball. He'll come out. Doug Mitchell wants to give Johnson a well-deserved ovation from the crowd. Loose ball inside, taken away now. And here comes Tim Bass. That's the 25th turnover for the Warsaw Tigers. Bass out front. Playing the weave with Tyrone Johnson. He gives the ball off to Patrick Ingram. And then Bass to Johnson. 65 seconds left to play in this one. Warsaw is going to empty the bench as well at this point. Inside, Curl Johnson puts it up and in. And for Johnson, that's 26 points in this basketball game. Leading North Central, second leading scorer in the game. As Moore had 28 before he fouled out for Warsaw. And a three-point shot for Zach Linke. 4-4 four four from the line, 26 points. Congratulations to Tyrone Johnson. Learn more about the Wendy's High School Heisman Award, which recognizes athletes for their outstanding athletic accomplishments, excellent performance in the classroom, citizenship and contributions to the community. Log on to www.wendyshighschoolheisman.com. Panthers lost the basketball. The Tigers have it back with 25 seconds. And putting it up and in is Cody Bragg, who checked in just briefly, or that the last time out as Warsaw has now emptied the bench. Out front, Bass. All ties, back to Bass, nine seconds. North Central is gonna win its second state championship in Indiana High School boys basketball. Bass throws it up in the air, the clock expires. And Doug Mitchell and the North Central Panthers are the Class 4A state champions in the 100th Indiana High School Boys Basketball State Tournament.